Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's webinar, Feature Friday, Advanced Threat Protection. I'm Sarah Duffy, the Marketing Manager here at Intronus, and I'm happy to be moderating today's session. Today, I am joined by Mark Balaguer, a Systems Engineer here at Intronus. Mark has over 10 years of experience in the information technology field supporting both hardware and software. During today's interactive webinar, we will be discussing our next generation firewall that features advanced threat protection, which utilizes a virtual sandbox protecting your SMB customers' networks before threats reach them. Before we get started, let's do some brief housekeeping. During the webinar, if you have any questions, feel free to share them using the questions or chat panel to the right of the GoToWebinar screen. At the conclusion of the webinar, you will be prompted to complete a brief survey. Please take a moment to tell us what you think so that we can continuously improve the content and quality of our online events. Now, without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to today's presenter. Take it away, Mark. Great. Thanks a lot, Sarah. First, let's start uh, with a little bit of talk about the advanced threat protection and the triple layers of protection that it provides. So layer one is your threat trend and intent analysis. And really, that's your antivirus. Barracuda uses uh, the open source um, antivirus engine. So we're constantly updating those engines uh, to be able to provide a full layer of antivirus protection for you. Layer two is the static analysis layer. And this is where the processing and machine learning farm uh, works to identify different signatures and different trends uh, and behaviors of different types of traffic. And then the third level is the dynamic analysis. Uh, this is where the sandboxing comes in. This is remote detonation in a secure cloud environment uh, that scans 900 attributes in less than a second. And so, uh, the process of the layer two traffic that's unknown being pushed into the layer three allows for this advanced threat protection. And then once that information in layer three is found, it's then pushed back to layer two so that any other client that sees this, uh, what was once a new traffic pattern, uh, can now be uh, protected from it. So uh, as a whole, uh, layer one and layer two block uh, over in the high 90s of the percentage of the attacks that come through. Uh, and that layer three dynamic analysis may only be a single percentage. But if you look at the, uh, the amount of traffic that's actually traversing your network, uh, that could be in the hundreds, even in thousands of pieces of traffic that are being missed. So uh, this layer three advanced uh, protection is very crucial to making sure that nothing is getting on your network that you're not aware of and maintaining protection from new iterations and new versions of malware and spyware. So moving on, we'll talk a little bit about the diagram and how the architecture is set up. So traditional solutions usually detect network threats after they have breached the network by sending log notifications to the administrator. Uh, the Advanced Threat Protection, or ATP, implements full system emulation, providing deep visibility into the malware behavior. Barracuda's Advanced Threat Protection helps manage service providers to go beyond securing and protecting the assets from intrusion and data loss. Files are checked against a cryptographic hash database that is consistently updated in case the file is unknown. It is emulated in the virtual sandbox where malicious behavior can be discovered. Today, we'll be diving into some of the key specific features of ATP, including defending your customer's network against cyber threats, threat visibility with granular control and reporting, how to avoid encrypted communication paths, the benefit of comprehensive botnet and spiral protection, and lastly, the flexible, scalable deployment options. So let's jump into the features. So it's all about defending your customer's network. The advanced threat protection implements a full system emulation providing deep visibility into the malware behavior. Files are checked against the cryptographic database that is constantly updated. In case the file is unknown, uh, we have that emulation going on. So this is just a, a way that you can protect yourself from those day zero attacks. So there's granular control over PDFs, EXPs, MSIs, DLLs, Android APKs, Microsoft Office files, compressed files and archives, a full of possibility with the, our integrated SSL inspection so files can be extracted uh, from an encrypted tunnel and checked. Uh, in order to identify any malware potentially in the encrypted stream. This cloud-based simulation allows resource-intensive file emulation to be offloaded to the Barracuda cloud and learning the cryptographic hash database for emulation optimization. Uh, multiple and simultaneous operating system environments are created for these emulated files. And then automatic email notifications in the case of malware activity is identified can help minimize the time for reaction and the administrator can mitigate the network breach. Available for hardware and virtual appliances, as well as the public cloud with Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS to fit whatever your IT strategy may be and standardize across hypervisors for network security and leverage the public cloud infrastructure. So 
So how to avoid uh, encrypted communication attacks? As I mentioned before, files that are delivered to your network by means of SSL encrypted traffic uh, can generate a severe threat to your organization because they bypass the traditional network security uh, at the firewall because they're traveling through an encrypted tunnel. Barracuda Advanced Threat Protection is fully interoperable with the integrated SSL inspection. This ensures that you can identify and protect from advanced threats when they arrive at the firewall instead of when they arrive at the client. Threat visibility and control with control and reporting. Barracuda Next Gen Firewalls also act as the linchpin for an organization's network traffic. So by using ATP, and being aware of domains, addresses known to spread malware, ransomware, and that cause botnet infection. So detecting network traffic from inside the network to botnet spyware control servers, such as the call home, data theft is stopped before the actual connections are created. Additionally, administrators are notified accordingly to take care of the compromised systems. We give you complete control over a variety of documents, uh, dealing with compressed files uh, that can be emulated before they're delivered to the client. So based on identified malware activity, infected users can be automatically quarantined and then prevent the malware from spreading within the network or created encrypted unwanted communications back to the outside. We offer comprehensive botnet and spyware protection. So in combination with ATP Cloud Database, our next-gen firewall provides protection against botnet infections. The firewall detects potentially infected clients based on DNS requests once an infected client is detected, it can be isolated automatically and an alert can be created or reported. This customizable on-demand analysis report uh, can, for any file provide full insight and details of malicious activities, file behavior, system registry entries, evasion, and obfuscation techniques. This also enables network activities such as the establishing encrypted connections to botnet command and control for increased security posture to evade scaled botnet attacks across the network. So here are some of our advanced feature uh, feature uh, for <laughs> sorry some of our advanced threat protection feature differentiators. So purely based on the volume of data that Barracuda receives worldwide, we're able to make faster decisions based on our machine learning farm. Uh, because of this diverse data, we're able to have real-time threat info from networks worldwide and all the processing information and feeding machine learning farm. So we're not pulling it from one single vector, but that global diverse customer base all processing data and feeding it back into that central data center where it is then pushed out uh, worldwide to all of our customers. A lot of our competition will pull everything into the sandbox to process everything. Uh, this can create a lot of delays in making decisions. Uh, and then they don't often have the number of endpoints that we do to be able to see all of these different threats across a variety of products such as email and firewall. The Barracuda Advanced Threat Protection subscription is available for all of our hardware virtual appliances of the Barracuda Next Generation F-Series, as well as for all major public cloud offerings like Microsoft Azure, Amazon Web Services, and Google Cloud. So now we'll talk a little bit about the MSP specifically. For those not familiar, our MSP firewall is designed and built from the ground up to provide comprehensive next generation firewall capabilities, cloud-hosted content centrally, and reporting off to offload compute intensive tasks to the cloud for greater resource efficiency and throughput. Based on application visibility, user identity awareness, intrusion prevention, and centralized management, the file firewall would be ideal for your customers. Our firewall is a turnkey solution that provides protection to secure multiple customers' networks from advanced threats, all from one centralized management console, and it is a subscription-based appliance that has no upfront fees, meaning that it's including all of your licensing necessary to provide these advanced features at a single price point. Our firewall is designed with the multiple customer locations in mind, where each firewall can be controlled through a single centralized management console, uh, making it easier to deploy from a central location uh, to remote clients. It's available in three different deployment options for MSP, including the physical firewall, the virtual firewall, and the public firewall, cloud firewall that we mentioned before. All subscription-based, and again, no upfront fees. So as you can see, we have many configurations to fit your needs from the very small F-18 with a single gig of throughput all the way to the F-1000 with 40 gigs of throughput. Uh, we have unlimited uh, number of users to be supported on the firewall, and we have unlimited site-to-site uh, -site VPN tunnels or client-to-site VPN tunnel options. 
it's basically a becomes a sizing question, what your throughput will be and what we can provide the right fit from you. From a feature perspective, they're all the same. So just a quick summary, I want to thank everyone for joining us for today's ATP discussion uh, and letting you know that it's all included in our next generation firewalls for MSPs. So with a flexible and simple deployment, easy to use and affordable advanced persistent threat protection, there's no new equipment needed. A full system emulation is included, not only detecting targets and persistence, but also malware that was designed to evade detection by traditional sandboxes used by first generation advanced persistent threat security vendors. Our automatic user and IP blacklisting based on identified malware activities. Infected users can automatically block from the corporate network. On demand instead of reporting for infected machines. Customizable on demand analysis reports available for any emulated file providing full information on malicious activities such as registry entries, network activity such as botnet, command and control traffic, or obfuscation tactics. We have unrivaled detection speed, but we provide nearly instant threat visibility and protection. Information on identified malware is certainly stored and shared in order to optimize emulation for everyone. So I'd just like to again thank everyone for joining us today, and I'll pass things back over to Sarah to begin the question and answer portion of the session. Great. Thanks, Mark. So today was our first Feature Friday webinar where we go into a little deep dive of specific features of a product. So today's topic was about advanced threat protection in our, our firewall product. If you have any questions on ATP or the firewall, Mark is here to answer your questions and we'll give everyone a few moments to submit any questions they may have in the, the questions panel to the right of the, the GoToWebinar screen. And if you would like to learn more information on the firewall as well as ATP, you can go to our website at intronus.com. Um, if you're interested in talking to um, someone on our team here, you can call us on our 800 number as shown on the screen. So Mark, it looks like there's no questions. Um, I want to thank you for your time and I would like to thank everyone else that joined us for today's webinar. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.